for reading this book about boosting your memory? It's really good, actually. You'll have to read it. I'll give it to you. Yeah, I think I read one once. Actually, I'm trying to remember where I left it. I think this one's written by John something. He's some professor at some school. What's that supplement called that's supposed to like boost your memory? I think it's called Kinky Balboa. I think it's Gecko Barbaco. Oh yeah, that totally sounds right. Wow, it's about time. Come on, you son of a gun. Oh, you're a big one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, dang. What the? girls ready to have a good time this weekend? I can't wait. I've never been camping before. I have. It's really fun. We get to go on hikes and make campfires and roast marshmallows. That sounds like so much work. Can't we just go to the beach? Yeah, there'd be less bugs and dirt. We're not going to the beach. Besides, camping's a lot of fun and you'll learn some necessary survival skills. What are you reading, Marianne? Oh, it's a book on cryptids. How is it? Oh, there's this fascinating chapter. Oh, there's chapter. this fascinating chapter on... Oh, you're such a geek. You're such an idiot. Spaz. What? <sighs> Knock it off, girl. Sorry. Sorry, Mrs. Pepperdove. Are you princesses done chatting? If we don't get a move on, traffic's gonna be a bitch. Now move it! Yep. Uh huh. Yeah, all right, put them on. Yeah, this is Barry. 
fisherman hunt. Third instant this week. Okay, well, what's the name of this place again? Skull Mountain. Up near Awani. Okay, I'm sending someone up there to check it out. His name is Harlan James. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm going to contact you once he gets up there. Huh? All right. Thank you for calling. James, get your ass in here. Have I got a story for you. It's not those Jersey Devil twins again, is it? Oh, this is bigger and real. Seems a man was out fishing yesterday when his cooler full of beer went missing. Appears it was stolen by Bigfoot. Bigfoot? James, this isn't some made-up grainy camera footage. There were actual footprints left in the mud. This person was so close to Bigfoot he could have kicked him square in the crotch. And he turned around. So he didn't actually see him? No, but I did just get off the phone with the local sheriff, and he told me this is the third incident in two days. <laughs> the day we get law enforcement calling us with these stories, they have to be real. I need you to get up there and see what you can find. Oh, okay. So, where am I headed? Some place called Skull Mountain, up near Awani. Once you get there, look up Sheriff Bubba Lopez, and he'll fill you in. You tell everyone the Tattletale will offer 25,000 cash for anyone who can capture the creature, dead or alive. 25 grand? We've never offered that much for a story. I know, but we're talking about one of the most elusive creatures in the world. If we can just get pictures of this thing, or better yet, his corpse, we'll make a fortune. That seems a little extreme. <laughs> Hey, that's journalism. You do what you gotta do to get your story. After all these years, I'm finally gonna get that stinking ape. James, this could be huge. Just get down there and get me that story no matter what. a good spot, don't you think? You know, I'm tired of driving. It's perfect. Okay, girls, let's get, let's unpack. Let's get the stuff out of the van. Isn't there like We're going to camp here. For get the crap out of the van now! Ooh. You've got to be fun with them, otherwise they'll walk all over you. There's mud. Ground. Let me see that pole. Like she's never said that before. What was that? She said the instructions are in German. It's actually pretty simple if you aren't a moron. So, have you ever camped up here before? A couple times when I was younger. In fact, I think there's a swimming hole near here. Hope you brought your suit. How's everything going over here, girls? I think we got it under control. Good. Why don't you do go gather some wood before it gets dark, okay? It's right over here. Yeah, this is a spot right here. <laughs> oh, oh, I am so very glad that you called me. <laughs> you ever seen uh, footprints this size before? Well, 
uh, I'll tell you, uh, I, I have seen bigger, but uh, don't, don't get me wrong. This is a very, very interesting specimen. Yes. So what do you think? Uh, this is a very interesting specimen, Sheriff. Uh, I would like to have some plaster casts made so uh, I can study them. So, Professor, tell me, do you think the campers are in any real danger? I mean, do we need to be concerned about these uh, big footprints? Well, uh, it's hard to say. They're not generally known to be very violent creatures. However, there's no telling what they'll do if provoked. Hmm. All right, isn't it? I'm supposed to meet Sheriff Lopez here. Have you seen him? Yeah, he was in here earlier, but uh, he had to go do an interview with some newswoman. Sure, he'll be back soon. Why don't you have a drink while you wait? Sure. You got any root beer? <laughs> yeah. You're gonna pay the same price as regular beer. It's all right. All right. Here you go. Thank you. Sorry, what? I caught you staring at my woman. Eddie, I caught this guy looking at my woman. Your woman? That's my girl. That's my girl. You would you two stop? You both know she's mine, right? Hey! Knock it off or take it outside. The sheriff's gonna be here any minute. Sorry, bud. Why is the sheriff coming? I don't know. Supposed to talk to this kid. Who are you, and what are you doing in our part of the woods? I'm a reporter with the Tattletale. Why you gotta meet with Bubba? Well, he called with some uh, sightings of Bigfoot. I came to get the scoop and um, offer a reward for whoever could capture the beast. What kind of reward are we talking about? 25 grand cash. Did you say 25 grand? Yep, 25 grand, dead or alive. Another round, fellas? 
sorry, bud. We gotta go. Coffee, bud. Well, you must be Harlan James. Yeah, how, how do you know? Well, because you're the only one in here that I haven't met. Thanks, bud. Bubba Lopez. I'm the local sheriff here. Pleasure to meet you, sir. So, I'm hearing that you've been having some problems with Bigfoot. Well, he's quite a legend around these parts. Some people believe in him, most don't. Some claim to have had an encounter with him over the years, but uh, you know, from what I've heard, he pretty much minds to himself. Although I guess lately he's been causing some of the tourists a bit of harassment. I'd love to talk to some of the people who have seen him. Uh, that could be arranged. Great. Oh, and my editor wanted me to mention we're offering a word of 25000 for whoever could capture the monster. First of all, Mr. James, he's not a monster. Second of all, well, if the locals find out about that money, there's liable to be all kinds of people running around here with shotguns and someone's liable to get hurt. I suppose you've got a point. So, when can we get started? Well, Tomorrow morning. Where you stand? The Black Hawk Lodge. That's right where... across the street. All right. I'll pick you up at nine o'clock. And it looks like the show's about to start. All right. All right. Settle down. Contest's about to start. Now the rules are real simple. The contestant that gets the loudest applause is going to win one free night at the Black Hawk Lodge, and also one free entree at Ling's Chinese and Italian restaurant in uh, Norfolk. So let's hear it for contestant number one. I can smell that money. What are you going to do with your cut, Sonny? First, I'm going to get me a new hunting bow. Then I'm going to take the missus out to the nicest restaurant in town, order some egg rolls and spaghetti, 
and have us a feast. What about you? There's this used truck I've had my eye on for quite some time. What about you, Roger? I hadn't really decided what I'm going to do with my half of the reward. Your half? There's three of us. I'm taking half the reward. You two can split the other half any way you want. That's bull. Why you get half? My guns, my ammo, my reward. Yeah, that sounds fair. Let's pick this stuff up and go collect our money. I was a hand-hooked killer. Lame. Does anyone else have a story? Well, I do, but it's not really a ghost story. Well, go ahead and tell it anyways. Well, the book I'm reading has this chapter on Sasquatch. What the hell is a Sasquatch? Bigfoot. The book I'm reading has a chapter on Bigfoot. This half man, half ape creature. Science doesn't have any proof that he exists, but lots of people think he's real. Apparently, he's eight foot tall and weighs 500 pounds. Marianne, you're just making that up. No, I'm not. There's been Bigfoot sightings all over the world. In fact, there's been sightings in these mountains. Here? Is this thing dangerous? Well, he has a very distinct smell, and they say he's extremely dangerous. He can snap a man in half like a twig. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Personally, I think that was just a bunch of crap. My story was way better. Well, it's getting late. We should all turn in. So is all that true about Sasquatch? It's Sasquatch. And I don't know. Some people believe in him. Some people don't. Nobody's captured him to prove that he exists, but I like to think he's out there. It gives me the creeps thinking that he's out there. Well, don't worry. You'll know if he's around. Supposedly, he has a very distinct odor. I wonder what he smells like. Probably like the cafeteria after fish stick day. Ew. I swear this camping trip is the worst ever. I know. I can't wait till we get home. The sooner the better. I know. Can you believe Marianne and her ridiculous stories? You didn't believe her? No, and don't tell me you believe that little crap. I don't know. It just kind of scared me to think some giant ape lives around here. Aw, did Morgan get all scared? Did you want me to make you feel all better? Marianne, are you awake? Did you hear that noise? Is it Scotchwad? It's Sasquatch. It's probably just an owl. Go back to sleep. It's just an owl. It's just an owl. It's just an owl. It's just an owl. Morning, Sheriff. Morning. Dang. Sweet ride. Yeah, I've had old Darlene there ever since I was a deputy. You ever think about trading her in for a newer model? Yeah, well, the county keeps offering to get me a new cruiser and I keep turning them down. I ain't ready to give her up just yet. Remember, son, you always dance with the girl that brought you. Ready to go? Yes, sir. All righty then, come on. What's going on? That's the woman that interviewed me last night. Looks like she's with that uh, scientist that I brought in. You mind if we stop? Sure, we can do that. You, Sheriff. Nah, we just stopped by to kind of see what was going on here. Well, stick around. I love having an audience. 
Is this your new deputy? Oh, sorry. Simone Jennings. This is Harlan James. He works for the Tattletale. He's the... also doing a story on Bigfoot. The Tattletale? Looks like I got some competition. <laughs> hey, Simone, we're ready. Sorry, gentlemen. I have an interview to conduct. Right. We're live in five, four, three, two. Bigfoot. Fact or myth? His existence has been debated for years. Adding to this controversy are several campers who have reported encounters with this legendary creature. I'm here with world-famous cryptozoologist, Professor Trent Grover. Professor. Yes. You've been called in to investigate. Were you able to find any trace of this mythical creature? Well, see this footprint? This footprint was taken down by the river. This is of an adolescent male, at least seven feet tall, weight 400 pounds. <laughs> Professor, yes. why this strain of recent activity? Well, this time of year is their mating season. Uh, just, I wouldn't confront one <laughs> as they're liable to be extremely volatile, especially uh, when they're horny. <laughs> um, what else can you tell us about these creatures? Well, I can tell you a lot about these creatures. Uh, the general misconception is that they're very simple and primitive. However, I found them to be quite intelligent. In fact, I taught one to play catch in five minutes. Wait. Are you saying that you've actually had contact with these animals? Oh, yes. I, I, I even lived uh, with a, a colony of uh, Bigfoots uh, for over a year when I, I, I was living up in Washington. I, I'm, I'm sorry, did you say you lived with a colony of Bigfoots? Yes, exactly. Uh, it was an amazing experience. They welcomed me into their community and their society and uh, I was able to study their patterns and behaviors. What exactly did you learn about them? Uh, well, <clears throat> I learned that uh, they are extremely fond of garlic, and uh, oh, they love hot dogs too. Yes, oh, and they are able to mimic humans. Mimic humans? Yes. In fact, I once caught one pretending to smoke a cigarette. It was so cute. Looked like a huge monkey smoking. Yes. Well, thank you, Professor, for your oh, time. Oh, yes, and then this there was another time we were close to a village. Uh, I saw one actually using a urinal. Yes. Of course, he was using the wrong end, but uh, he had the proper idea. Well, yes. thank you, Professor. And do you know, Th Simone, may I call you Simone? Uh, there was this time in their colony that I taught one to play Iron Man on a ukulele. Thank and you, Professor. It seems that when this we has were been Simone Jennings reporting room. live from Skull Mountain, Channel 15 News. Well. And we're clear. That went well. Are you kidding me? That guy's nuttier than a pound of squirrel poop. Well, at least you look good on camera. <laughs> so, Mr. James, how's your story coming along? Call me Harlan, and. I haven't really started yet. I hope I can get what my boss wants. He's looking for something concrete. He's even offering a reward for the capture of Bigfoot. What kind of reward? 25 grand. Cash. Wow. For that kind of money, I might have to go buy a gun and go hunting myself. I know. I had the same thought. So, since you work for the Tattletail, I take it you believe in Bigfoot. I don't know. I'd like to, but it's hard when all you have is hearsay and blurry photographs. I just hope something happens real soon. Really, you ready to go? Oh, yeah. I better get going. It was nice to meet you. It was nice to meet you, too. Maybe I'll see you around. This is the place. Thank <laughs> you.
so. What? What if someone sees us? Then they could join us. Come on, don't be a baby. Mary Ann, there's no one else around. It's just us. Uh, no, I don't think so. I'm gonna head back. Be a baby. How was that? Boy, that sounded worse than a cat that got caught in my, the engine of my truck. Let me see that thing. There, that should do the trick. Boy, look what you've done. I just tuned that for you. Maybe you should just stick with the kazoo. Told you it's too hard. That's not something you see every day. Boy, what is wrong with you? A bunch of half naked women go running by and you're staring at me. There is no way that you came from these loins. I wonder what they was running from. There is only one thing that can cause that kind of fear in a person. Bigfoot, get my gun, we're going hunting. Buford, we're gonna eat soon. Get the salad ready. In a minute, dear. I'm just reading up on this, uh, Latest diet craze. Put that trash down and start tossing the salad. What was that? What was what? That noise. I, I thought it heard some leaves rustling. It was probably just the wind. How about you fix the salad, set the table. Food's almost done. There's something out there. Damn it. You and your imagination. Remember last year at the beach, you thought you saw a werewolf? Hey, I was protecting that beach. Well, they should have been thanking me instead of threatening to sue me. I told you something's out there. He's doing? Gross. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> oh. 
Eddie, where the hell are we? Let's see. The sun rises in the west and sets in the east. The sun rises in the east and sets in the west. What? Are you sure? I, I know I've seen it set in the east before. Give me that map before you hurt yourself. I know these woods like I know the back of my hand. And I don't know where the hell we're at. Hey, look at that. Guys, check this out. What do we do? We follow the trail, idiot. The party went the other way. Relax. It's a shortcut. We'll beat them to the campsite. By the time they get there, we'll already be drunk while they'll still be picking dirt out of their teeth. Damn it! What's wrong, baby? It looks like I blew the tranny. Well, I'm sure someone will be along shortly. I don't know. This road seems pretty secluded. I thought you said this was a shortcut. <laughs> well, I assumed it was. Hell, Skip, what are we supposed to do now? We hope it. Oh my God! When I say run, you run. So screwed! Well, that's reassuring! Get your ass up. What the hell? You folks having some trouble? Uh, yeah, my truck died and we need to ride back to the RV park. Can you guys give us a lift? I'm sorry, we've been hiking these woods for hours. Name's Chester, this is my son, Billy Bo Bob. I'm Skip, and this is Patty. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Boy, move your ass. You folks will have to wait till morning to get out of here. I mean, it's gonna be dark soon. It's okay, we've got flashlights. <laughs> Darling, you're gonna need more than flashlights to stop what's out there. What are you talking about? I'm talking about Bigfoot. That's just a myth, like the Loch Ness Monster. Oh, Bigfoot's real. Seen him myself on occasion. In fact, just got two terrorizing some women down by the river. Me and the boy have been out tracking him. We can help you get out in the morning, but you best stay with us tonight. I don't know. We got food we're willing to share. Come on, Skip. They've got guns and food. We'll be safe. Okay, we'll stay. But it's not because I believe in Bigfoot or anything. 
It's just, I don't want Patty to trip and sprain her ankle in the dark. What a gentleman. Come on, I've also got some supplies in the truck. Hey, maybe we should go get some firewood, Daddy. Good idea, boy, get busy. Boy's gonna get some firewood. I was right here raking leaves about six months ago. Yes, about two weeks ago. Something knocked over my trash cans. I saw this thing come out from behind the rock. Uh, so, what was it? Yeah, I know it's a little blurry, but that's Bigfoot. Bigfoot? Oh, it was Bigfoot. I looked up and I saw him right up there on that hill. What happened, if I may ask? Went in the house, get me my shotgun, and came out and he was gone. Out of nowhere, I saw a, this, this thing standing right in the middle of the road. Pretty sure he stole my car, too. No one comes on my property without my permission, you hear me? Are you sure it wasn't a bear? Are you sure it wasn't raccoons? I think he had a photo of it. Good thing for him, I haven't seen him since. Yeah? It was Bigfoot. Let me tell you something, son. Mr. James, I know what I saw. Bigfoot or no Bigfoot? No, it is. Hmm. You getting all that? That's right. Are you guys done? Nah, I just stopped by to use the restroom. Any messages? Yes, the mayor called. He wants you to call him back. Mm -hmm. Your wife also called. Again? Alrighty. I'll take care of this later on, okay? Okay. All right, then I'll be right back, all right? Can I get you a glass of water? Oh, no, thank you, though. Hey, it's Harlan. I know you wouldn't be calling unless you had good news. Did you get my story? No, not yet. Then why are you calling? Well, I've talked to a few people and I don't really think that there's a story here. James, let me explain something to you. You're a tabloid journalist. You get the story no matter what. I know, but... It's hard because hey, I, I, I don't want excuses. I want results. If you have to shave a hundred monkeys and then glue their hair to some homeless guy to get your picture, then that's what you do. Got it? Understood. Good. Now the next time we talk, you'll have my story. Right? Yes, sir. Well, that coffee kind of runs right through me, you know? All right, Rachel. Okay, Sheriff, be safe. All right, I will. Shall we? Thank you for the food, Chester. Oh, you're quite welcome, darling. Do you mind if I ask you something? Shoot. You said you've seen Bigfoot. What's it like? Well, he's all hairy. Bigger than a bear. And ugly as sin. I've been hunting him for years and ain't never caught him. Shouldn't you be running away from something like that instead of chasing it? Most folks would. I got a score to settle with that son of a bitch. See, my, my brother Riff, he disappeared one day, showed up about a week later, all beaten and bow-legged. Well, what happened? Well, he was out hunting for some dinner you got knocked unconscious. And he woke up in a cave lying next to a female Bigfoot. But she had her way with him and, and he just couldn't talk about it. That's horrible. Well, that's not the half of it. He wound up in the Himalayas, you know, trying to clear his head and get away from all this. Well, he was out taking a leak in the snow one day and got punched in the head and knocked unconscious, he woke up in a Yeti cave. You've got to be kidding me. I wish I was, friend. He found out he had been violated. Again. 
And poor old Riff, he ain't never been the same since. Oh, you folks want some more beans? No, we're good. I think we're gonna turn in. Come on, Patty. What are you doing? Those hillbillies are right outside. Oh, they won't mind. Besides, Daddy needs his sugar. Not now, Skip. Come on. We might as well make the best of a bad situation. Boy, where's Bigfoot? Give me my gun. You did it, Daddy. Come on, let's finish this. I want to see its face when I pull the trigger. What's going on? I thought I heard a gunshot. I did it. I finally shot that bastard. a lot like Skip. That is Skip, you idiot. Help him up. Uh, you shot me in the ass. Take it easy, fella. What, what are you doing out here in this crazy outfit? It was cold, and I had to use the bathroom. We thought you were Bigfoot. Well, I'm not. God. What am I supposed to do with this chunk taken out of my ass? Well, I think... I think there's a first aid kit in the truck. Well, thank you, darling. You can go on back to sleep now. Are you sure you don't need my help? No, uh, it's nothing serious. I believe we can handle it from here on. All right. Get me out of here. Oh, how about is it? I feel like I lost a lot of blood. You feel you're gonna be fine. The bullet uh, just barely grazed you. Barely grazed me? Tell it to my ass. Uh, Barely uh, nicked you. Pretty it's nothing but a scratch. What you, not a scratch. Trust me. Uh, I've man. seen a lot worse. Uh, I had it. What'd you make up your mind? Shut oh, up, Daddy. Billy. Oh, sorry, Daddy. Oh. Hey, baby. Do those hillbillies fix you up outside? Baby, you really need to take a shower. Are you gonna stay wrapped up in that rug all night? Looks like someone's feeling a little better. <laughs> Baby, that tickles! <laughs> oh, ow, that hurts! Stop complaining. I complain too. Are you sure you don't have any whiskey I can take for the pain? For the last time, no. Now hold still. Oh, come on, Jesus. Oh. Baby, if you're gonna go to the bathroom, at least take that rug off so you don't get shot again. Uh, I'd be squirming around too. Ah. Uh. There you are, uh, good as new. Uh, uh, yeah, good as new, yeah. Except for the huge chunk taken on my ass. You're fine, it's just a scratch. You'll be up and humping in no time. Uh, what? Thanks, Chester. I owe you one. Bet your ass. I, I help.
Daddy's home. What do you say we start the fire one more time? Again? Baby, I could use a little attention right now. Yeah, I know, but I'm completely worn out. When did you get so big? <laughs> what are you talking about? I've always been big. <laughs> All I can say is, <laughs> wow. Well, thank you. <laughs> Sheriff, mm. what's your honest take on all this Bigfoot stuff? Am I just wasting my time up here? <laughs> well, whether he's real or not, one thing's for certain. This is Bigfoot country. I've lived here all my life, and I've never had an encounter or sighting or anything like that, but I've got friends and relatives who'll swear to what they've seen. It's all a matter of what you want to believe. I mean, I've talked to over a dozen people, and I've heard some of the weirdest Bigfoot stories, <laughs> but there's one common denominator. Nobody's ever gotten hurt. So what are you saying? Why do people make him out to be such a monster? Well, Mr. James, it wouldn't be any good if there were no evil. So, uh, anybody uh, claimed the bounty yet? No, not yet. I'm sure somebody will catch you. No one has yet. Hey, bud, you almost bagged him once, didn't you? What? Wait, you saw Bigfoot? Sure did. I was down there by the river, uh, hunting deer. Why well, I had my shotgun locked on him. He saw me, turned around, walked away. Why didn't you pull the trigger? Because he didn't give me a reason to. I mean, he's out there in his natural habitat. He's probably trying to find some food. I figure. He's out there trying to survive, like the rest of us. Can I get a vodka and cranberry, please? Sheriff, Mr. James, burning the midnight oil? Something like that. Well, it's getting late. I should probably get going. I'll give you a holler if I uh, hear anything. Do you guys serve food here? <laughs> no, just alcohol. And there's an all-night diner down the road. You want to go check it out? I'm really starving. No, I think I'm good. Well, I think I'll go check that place out. Um, I'll see you later. Yeah. All I'm saying is that television's a dying medium. Everything's online now. So wouldn't that make your tablet obsolete too? <laughs> no. There will always be tabloids. People always need more junk to buy at the counter. <laughs> no matter what's going on in the world, everybody wants to read about Elvis and aliens and even the world's fattest cat. I must have missed that issue. Are you kidding me? That's every issue. We're always trying to convince people into believing things that don't really exist. I know what you mean. The news is always preying on people's fears. We're only supposed to report the facts, but there's no such thing as impartiality. There's always an agenda. Last call. I guess we should go. Where are you staying? Um, across the street at the uh, Black Hawk Lodge.
Hello? Morning, sunshine. Barry? How's my story coming? Slowly but surely. I got a couple leads that, uh... Get any pictures yet? Well, no, but I, um... I'm... What good is the story without the proof? I know, I just, it's... it's... Listen to me, James. I really need you to get to the bottom of this story. If you can't do that, then I'll find someone who can, and you can go back to making coffees and fetching my coffee for me. Is that what you want? No, sir. Now get your sorry ass out of bed and go get my story. Who's that? My boss. I gotta get to work. I think you'd better get down there to make sure we get our story. Now I know why I don't usually drink this much. I could really go for something to eat. You want to get breakfast? Sure. Hello? Hey, it's Bob. Listen, I just got a report of another encounter. Seems like one of the local women got up close and personal a few weeks ago with Bigfoot. Well, can I talk to her? She runs a local children's store down, it's called uh, Just For Kids. You might want to hear what she has to say, that is if she'll talk to you. Where's the store located? All right. Thanks, Sheriff. What's wrong? Looks like we just got our first lead. <laughs> Damn it, boy. What the hell's wrong with you? You could have blown my brains out. S sorry, Daddy. Quiet, boy. We're in Bigfoot country. You smell that? That's yeah, the smell of the beast. Are you sure that's Bigfoot? Yep. I smelt that stink before. He's so close I can taste him. Uh, Daddy? Quiet, boy. But, uh... You're gonna get us killed, boy. What? Son of a bitch. Why didn't you say something? I swear, there's no way you could have come from these lines. Come on, boy, let's get out of here. Is there anything I could help you folks with today? Yes, Sheriff Lopez sent us over here. He said you had an encounter with Bigfoot. Oh, you must be the reporter and the guy from the tabloid. He told me you might be stopping in. Miss Lewis, would you mind telling us what happened? I don't think so. Any information you provide would be helpful. No, I don't think so. I didn't even want to tell the sheriff. Please, Miss Lewis. It's important. Well, okay. I've lived up here my whole life, and never once did I believe in Bigfoot. But now, I know he's real. It happened several weeks ago. There's a spot by the river where I go to sunbathe. No one ever goes there. This spot is so peaceful and private, I'm able to relax and not be bothered by anyone ever. Since the spot's so secluded, I'm able to do whatever I want. Next thing I know, the sky went dark. I thought maybe someone had discovered my secret place. I couldn't quite make out what was standing in front of me. I wanted to scream, but I couldn't. 
It was Bigfoot, all right. A large, hairy, ape-like creature. But then, I suddenly felt a calm about the creature. Like he didn't want to hurt me. And then he was gone, just like that. So, all he wanted were your panties. This happened several weeks ago. How come you waited so long to say something? Well, I didn't want everyone to think I was crazy. But when I found out about the bounty, I figured I should tell the authorities. I'm afraid someone will kill it. Would that be such a bad thing? It might be the only one of its kind. Miss? I'll be right with you. Can I take this? Oh, no, go ahead. Thank you for your time, Miss Lewis. So what do you think? I'm thinking we should go looking for this thing ourselves. Say, uh, you folks from around here? No. Not really. Well, you folks better be careful. There's been a lot of uh, Bigfoot sightings around here. Weren't you on television? <laughs> yes, I was. Wow, you're prettier in person. Say, uh... If you're not doing anything, maybe a little later we could, uh... She's busy. <clears throat> so, where are you heading? I don't know. Got any suggestions? The swimming hole's real nice. It's down the ways. You want me to draw you a map? Yeah. There you go. Oh, that'll be fourteen ninety nine. Dude, uh, that's totally him. No way. He's more... Taller, more hairier. Excuse me? What are you guys talking about? Bigfoot, dude. He what looks, about him? He looks nothing like the postcard. Yeah, he does, man. No way. How do you two know what Bigfoot looks like? Because we were out partying with him last night, <laughs> yeah. man. We were out in the woods, getting nicely toasty, when we heard a noise. Then, out of the blue, there he is, standing right in front of us. So we asked if he wanted to join us. How to party. Tell me you got high with Bigfoot? No, dude. We got wasted with Bigfoot. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Do you know where he is? Uh, sorry. He passed out. We woke up. He was gone, like gone. gone. Where were you guys last night? Oh, uh, near the swimming hole. The swimming hole. Right. I guess we know where to look. Hey man, if you see him, can you tell him to give me back my bomb? He took your bomb? Oh, don't worry about it. We'll buy a new one. There he is! I see him! Get him, boy! Someone's shooting at us. Daddy! I'm scared. Hold your fire down there. You're gonna kill somebody. Yes, sir. Eddie, what the hell are you doing? Sorry, we thought you were Bigfoot. 
We. Who else is down there with you? Me, Sonny, and Roger. Hold your fire. I'm coming down. Let's go, boy. And don't do anything to embarrass me. Chester Scroggins, you old goat, what are you doing out here in that, that outfit? Hunting Bigfoot. After the reward money, too, huh? Reward? What reward? 25 grand, cash. You mean somebody's willing to pay money for that bastard? I'll shoot him for free. You mean to tell me you don't know anything about that reward? I don't know nothing about no money. I'm just hunting for the hell of it. I got a score to settle with that bastard. Well, since you're out here too, why don't you join us? Oh no, I'm not splitting my reward five different ways with that son of a bitch. Well, I might just let you shake my hand when I haul his corpse in. Ooh. Boy, what did I say about embarrassing me? Chester, what in the world are you feeding that kid? Come on, let's get out of here before we all pass out. And good luck, you'll need it. Oh, and by the way, you need to get out of them ghillie suits before somebody takes a shot at you and takes a chunk out of your ass. Sorry, Daddy, I couldn't hold it in. There is no way that you came from my loins. Let's go, boy. And take that suit off, you look ridiculous. swim afterwards and that was just what is that thing i have no idea it kind of looks like a bear this one stressed out bear what are you doing we got to tell someone about this Yes, Rachel. Yeah, go ahead and transfer the call. Sheriff Lopez speaking. Ma'am, could you repeat that? Really? And you're absolutely positive? It, where did you say this happened at? And you're certain about what you saw, huh? Uh, and what was your name again, ma'am? All righty, much obliged. Thanks for notifying us. Hey, that's Bubba. <laughs> you ain't gonna believe this one. I think this is the spot where the fishermen and schoolgirls saw him. The Waldos weren't too far from here. Maybe we should go up to where those girls were camping. See any signs of footprints? No. Nothing. Hold it, right there. Whoa, take it easy, mister. What? Don't move. Please, just let us go and we'll be out of your hair. Behind you. What the? Oh my god, is that what I think it is? Yep, that's Bigfoot. Okay, you folks are safe now. What are you planning on doing? I'm gonna shoot him right between the eyes. And then maybe make a vest out of his skin. Soup out of his bones. Look, 
If it's about the money, th there is no money. Th I, I should know. I'm the reporter from the newspaper. Tabloid. Whatever. Bottom line, there was never any money. We just said there was so we'd get people to talk. I don't care about no money. This is personal. My brother was raped by one of these things. Twice. Um, could you repeat that last part again? Say, good night, you crazy. Look, Chupacabra! What? Where? Damn it! What the hell did you do that for? I couldn't let you shoot him. Come on, boys, get in the way! Oh, oh, I think I bruised my hand bone, Daddy. Oh, the love of God. There's no way you sprang from these loins. Now get your ass up. He's getting away. You had your story right in front of you. Why'd you do it? Because sometimes... Sometimes the myth is more important than the truth. Hey guys! Check this out. Looks like a cave. Well, what are you waiting for? Get in there. I ain't going in. Where do you go? There's no way I'm going in first. Fine. I'll go in first, but I get a bigger cut of the reward. just happened. I know. What are you gonna do? I guess I'm gonna tell my boss I didn't get the story. Whatever happens, happens. I'll probably go back to being the copy boy. I'm sure everything will be okay. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. What's going on? They got him. Got who? Bigfoot. They finally got him. What the hell happened to you guys? Nothing. Give us some whiskey. <laughs> you guys don't drink whiskey. We do today. Uh, <laughs> all right. Keep them coming, bud. We just had a break in the Bigfoot case. Here's the thing that's been causing us trouble this whole weekend. Nothing more than a man dressed up like an ape. Sheriff, you gotta believe me. This wasn't my idea. My boss sent me. I, I didn't do anything. We caught him in the woods. He had a bunch of makeup and costumes in the car. Claims he works for the Tattletale. Harlan? Harlan, is that you? It's me, Kenny, the copy boy. Tell us, Sheriff, you know me. Tell him Barry sent me. This was, this was all Barry's idea. Harlan, you know this man. Sheriff, I've never seen that guy before. I thought not. This was just all a big joke. Yeah, well, those campers didn't think it was such a joke. Think your little hoax wasted our whole weekend here? But I just got here, honest. 
I didn't do anything. Harlan, help me out. All right, quiet it, you. Now I got a cell in there with your name on it. No, I, I didn't do anything. No, uh, my boss sent me. It was all his idea. Come on, Harlan. All right, that's enough, folks. Nothing more to see here. Just a man in a monkey suit. Come on now. Your boss sent him? It appears so. So what are we gonna do? Keep quiet. Go about our lives. So, I guess that's it then. Well, it doesn't have to be. I've got my room for one more night. Feel like playing the sunbather and panty thief? Sounds like a plan. Get up, boy. Daddy, I'm tired. My foot hurts, my butt hurts, and there's a rock in my shoe. Hell. I'm tired, too. Yeah, we tried. We failed. Maybe we should just stick to hunting UFOs. Let me help you with that stone. Sure, you guys don't want to talk about it? But you wouldn't believe us if we told you. I'm a bartender. I've heard every story imaginable. Come on, lay it on me. Well, we was out looking for Bigfoot and we found this cave. We went in, we found all these pairs of women's underwear and empty beer bottles. While we were looking around, we discovered we weren't alone. Next thing we know, the cave went dark, and we couldn't see a thing. Hell, we woke up in the middle of the forest with our pants around our ankles and a shotgun oh, shot. Oh, I'm gonna have to stop you boys right there. Maybe there are some stories that shouldn't be told. <sighs> there you go. Consider it on the house. All I'm saying is, This totally blew my mind. <laughs> You're crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, wait. What'd he say? He said, he said, uh, <laughs> dude, I have no idea what he said. <laughs>